The first thing we're going to look at is how do we stand up out of the guard uh, before we even talk about what to do when someone's hitting us. So uh, one of the fundamental movements we need is our, obviously our stand and base. And if you haven't practiced it, we start in this chilling on the beach posture. And the idea being that, if, I'll get you standing, if someone's standing above me here, I mean, I would never even just sit here. If, if he got this close and it was self-defense, I'd be back protecting myself. But if I had enough distance, so let's go back a bit, that I felt I could stand safely, I need to not stand into him because I'm coming closer to his strikes. I need, yeah, I need to make sure that uh, I'm not turning my back and that no matter how I stand, whether it's forward, backwards, I have balance. If I stand up like this, very easy for him to just push me over, boom, here. We need a position that doesn't allow him to push us over or gives us enough balance. So here he can push into me, here I have stability. And the idea being that that point has to be replaced before it can come off the ground. So those who uh, practice I'll see sometimes people do this and it's just not balanced. So the point being that if he were to put pressure in at this point, yeah, I'm going down for sure. So we need to make sure we're here. Boom, always with balance. I bring the head forward, the leg back, and then this leg circles wide outside. The best way to learn this is just start in a low squat, point your fingers towards your hand, lean away from the hand, sit down, and then just unwind that. Now, when Stefan's in my guard, here, uh, hands off for one sec. So again, we're talking before we look at what to do when he's striking, how do I, how do I just get up? Everything's about distance management. So we're going to open our guards if they're not already. We're going to lean off to one side and get this shield in here. Now if he tries to come in and hit me here, I can keep, you can even throw, yeah. I can keep enough distance that it's difficult for him. This shin shield allows me to, even if he's leaning forward, allows me to get my foot on him. Once the foot's on him, I can square up and get two feet on him and push him away. He's not going to move, but that extends me, allows me to get even more distance from him. From here, we're going to sit up and we're going to get into this standing in base position with this hand on their trap. So I'm not just holding here, I'm holding behind here because if he drives in, I can now raise my elbow and lever off his shoulder to add extra pressure to the throat. From here, again, he might be driving into me, so I need that base behind me, here. And now we're up and away. And one thing uh, we, we definitely need to reiterate, the most important thing in self-defense, or the, the number one strategy, should always be, if it's an option, to get away. Okay, so I, if it's a real, like if it's a, if it's a jiu -jitsu match, yeah, go, go, go nuts, try to beat each other up. Self-defense, don't take risks. You don't know uh, what the story is with weapons, other people coming. So for me, the number one thing is always get out of there, no matter what. So we're here. I'm going to hip out, get a shin across his hip. If he comes in, here, notice he can get close enough. There's no good. I have to keep some tension in the hip, and I have to open my hips so that now if he tries to reach for my face, Someone super long than may, but a lot less likely than if I'm crunched in here. Boom. So from here, I keep that distance. He tries to come in, foot to the hip, two feet to the hip. I extend, I sit up. And of course, I wouldn't do this component this way if he's trying to hit, but we'll, we'll get there. We're just looking at the mechanics right now. We're here, we stand in base, and we're up and away. 